Hey everybody, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. So I'm sure most of you are aware of the Allison Parker, Adam Ward shooting where they were killed on live TV. But what most of you probably are not aware of is the fact that on WDBJ7's Facebook page, two weeks prior to his death, they posted a post and a picture of him filming an active shooter training drill during a lockdown exercise at Dabney Lancaster Community College in Clifton Forge. Two weeks before he got shot by an active shooter, he was filming an active shooter training drill at a community college in the area. Now, things like this stop becoming coincidence when they just keep happening every single time an event like this goes on. Now, I do believe that that man and Allison Parker are both dead. I believe that. I do believe that. Based on, and if you want to check it out, uh, a few videos prior to this on my on my channel, you can go back there and I've basically printed a retraction or posted a retraction video about my initial thinking that it was a total hoax. So I don't think it's a I don't think it's a hoax. I think they are dead, but I believe that this entire thing was orchestrated. It was orchestrated, thought out. And just like we see with all the other incidents like Charleston Massacre, 9-11, Sandy Hook, all that stuff, there was a shooter, active shooter training drill going on. And it amazes me, with all of the active shooter training drills, you think that at some point they would understand how to handle active shooters. If they're training for it all the damn time and it's happening all the damn time, you would think that they would either, one, know how to stop it, or two, understand how to fix it, because this guy went off, was able to go get a fax off, <clears throat> call people, post stuff on Twitter and Facebook and all this stuff, and then drive 200 miles away, and he gets spotted by some random cop 200 miles away in a rental, and then, you know, doesn't pull over, shoots himself, wrecks his car, and he's dead. And then the police just happened to threaten all the reporters there with uh, confiscation of their equipment if they didn't delete the footage. So, you know, this stuff, it it stops being coincidence when it just continues to happen. I guess that's my point here. And everybody needs to understand that, that there are forces out there that once they get a hold of you, that's it. And that's probably what happened to uh, Mr. Flanagan. I'll post a link to the Facebook page. And you can make a decision for yourself whether or not that's something that that puts you in the category of what the fuck. All right, this is Tim with Op-Ed Daily. Peace out.